Yo guys, hey, Wilson, Wilson said he wants to meet you guys. He wants to meet you, he's very shy, oh, yeah. very deflated. Okay, okay. He just got off a lonely island. No. Hey, I'm... And you are? Nice to meet you guys. Where are you guys from? Vegas. Vegas, in, uh, uh, Vegas vacation, right? Yes. All right, that's awesome, that's awesome. That's like the place to go. The other one is Cancun, right? It's like the second person you always can come. Are you okay there? You seem very distressed. I, I can leave if you know if, if you're about like if I'm bothering you guys. I don't mean to interrupt your day. Anyway, I thought I thought she's really cute, so I thought like I need to introduce her to Wilson. Uh, so I, I love the energy on the open. Really, really good. The prop is is fun and funny. Um, interesting thing with that as long as it's amusing for you that kind of stuff is great if, if it gets to the point where you're like i'm just using the prop because it works and it's no fun for you anymore then drop it and do something else but as long as it's fun that's really good so your vibe is really good um and overall you sat down next to them or near them quickly uh, very friendly everything's really good the only thing i would have an issue with so far is you calling attention to the girl giving you kind of a negative vibe i would just leave that Right. Um, she didn't seem like she's giving a negative vibe. She just seemed kind of tired. Like she just, when she first saw me, she was like, mm, and then kind of tired. So I just wanted to like drop like an empathy thing in here, like mm -hmm. acknowledge that she's tired, but I didn't want to cling on to it too much. I am fine with that. Actually, like saying, oh, you look a little tired. I know where you're coming from. That kind of thing. I would do that kind of empathy. But the empathy where you're like, uh, if you're not liking me, if you want me to leave, etc. I wouldn't go that far with it. Um, because one, if she didn't have the thought in her head, now you're putting it in her head, which yeah. doesn't need to be there. But also, the fact that you would think that is sort of like, a, it, it conveys a low value way of thinking. It conveys kind of negative social proof, right? If you were like the prince and every girl had always wanted your dick, would you, it even occur to you that they don't want you around, right? So the very fact that that thought even crossed your mind is kind of like conveying implied low value. So it's a subtle thing. Um, but yeah, vibe is good, energy is good, um, everything else is, is really good. I thought that you were very cute, and I wanted to introduce you to Wilson, because I'm a matchmaker. <laughs> and that's good, actual intent, like real, actual, direct intent, that's really, really good. Um, that's very positive. Uh, be, once you start showing intent, be aware of how they're responding to it. So if they're responding really well, by all means, just keep showing more of it. Um, if they're not responding as well to it, cut it back a little bit. And in particular, early on, be very willing to show intent in the negative as well as the positive. What do you mean by that? So instead of like, you're very cute, which is totally fine, by the way, um, would be like, you know what, you're cute, but I'm not so sure about you. Because that way you're kind of hedging your bets. So if it is a negative reaction, you didn't put your cards all on the table yet. That makes sense? Yeah. Um, but yeah, the fact that you are showing intense is very good. You are speaking very fast. Okay. I will slow it down. I am okay. And I live in Las Vegas. Okay. I thought I thought that you're really really pretty, like a pretty girl. So I came to talk with you. You guys are such good wingmen. I love this. Know a couple things. Number one, know that this is going to be very difficult because of that. Um, although, actually gaming her with the friends there won't be that hard, but the problem will be if you ever isolate, yeah. which it's going to be hard to have sex without isolating. Yeah. So that's, you're, you're fighting an uphill battle there. Um, but getting the friends involved and having the friends translate for you actually will build a lot of buy-in in terms of like the friends being on your side. So that, that much is good. Um, so, okay, so you're getting the friends to, to, speak, to, to speak to her for you. Is she responding and translating back through the yeah. friends or is? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it'll be a very delayed conversation. You're like matchmakers, you know? Huh? Matchmakers? Yeah, yeah like, like you introduce me to her. Uh, oh, yeah. You like her, talk with her. What's your name? Secret language, I like that. My name is and I'm originally from, you know where it is? No. It's in Europe. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to come to like a country where you don't speak the language? You know, you don't, you just don't speak English, right? Very, very well. How does it feel? Because like,
Siema. Sej, siema. Sej. Sej, siema. Siema. Nice. It's a high. High. Siema. Aha. There you go. Go on. Siema. High five. Yay. High five. Yeah. High five. Piątka. Sej, piątka. Piątka. No, no, siema. And this is piątka. Hey, piątka. Bye. <laughs> I like the vibe. It's chill, relaxed, having fun, etc. Um, and to a certain extent, you're plowing, but it's like it's a very non-needy plowing because it's just a language barrier plow. In Portuguese. Portuguese? Shema? Really? Ciao. 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 Ciao, Bella. I used to. I used to. No idea. Oi? Are you for real? Yeah. Oi? That's so weird. That is so weird. It's like Canadians. You know Canada? You know Canada? They're like, Oi! Oi! That's how they say hi. And means hi? Yeah, yeah. In, in, in Canada. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not exactly the same, but it's like when you're calling somebody like, Oi! In Canada. Here, talk with Wilson. Talk, talk with Wilson. No, 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 no. How long are you? How long are you guys here? Actually, the vibe between all of you is really good, and actually, these girls seem to speak decent enough English, so that vibe is really good. Choosing this girl as your target is going to be tough. Yeah, uh, the reason why I stuck to it is because I chose her from the start and I really just wanted to stack to it just because that was my first choice and I didn't want to change. No, it's fine. It's good practice. Yeah. It's definitely a good learning lesson. Um, okay, so I'm just a super long set. It's like 20, right. 27 minutes or whatever, so I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but what things did you try right. to okay, select? Actually, like, fast forward a little bit. It starts being more interactive with her and my target. Uh, I'll say probably around minute 10. Okay. Uh, at some point, I just realized that verbal communication is just not going to work out, even though she was still communicating with her friend. So I just started completely like trying to physically connect with her a lot. Okay. And uh, I think that was working out pretty okay. Cool. With the, I mean, I, I'll, I'll see what you mean by physically connect, but were the friends okay with whatever? Yeah, you did it was very like fun and stuff. I mean, intentful, I think, but it was pretty like fun and stuff. They seemed pretty okay with it. Oh, <laughs> not at all? No. At all? Oh my god, that is awesome. Hang on. Hang on. Let, me, let me take at all. This is this is funny. This is so funny. Sorry, I usually don't do this. I don't usually I just like walk up and talk talk with pretty girls. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> What? Uh, what? Uh, what, uh, what does she say? Uh, what does she say? Uh? <laughs> I. Nah, I have a vague idea. I have a vague idea. Alright, how do you say. Uh, how do you say. Uh, I love you? El chamo. El chamo? El chamo. And in Germany. What? In Germany. What's in Germany? I have a Volkswagen? I don't know. I have a Volkswagen? I don't know. Oh yeah, I love you. I love you. I or do or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a vague idea. <laughs> Maya. How do you say? How do you say uh, what are you doing late? Uh, what are you doing now? What are you doing right now? 
você está fazendo agora. Já, 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 já. O que? 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 No, how do you say that? And after? And the voice. And the voice. Show the baby together. Baby together. How do you say your language touches my heart? Your touch, your language, Portuguese, makes me feel emotional. Em português mexe com emocional. A sua língua, a língua portuguesa. Uh, I'm talking with a pretty girl. <laughs> say, say, tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her. I'm talking with a pretty girl. I live here. My question for you, because this, this actually is a, a winnable situation. It will be tough, but it is potentially winnable. Um, you're going to have to really own the friends, and you're going to have to probably venue change the whole group somehow, some way. Yeah. Okay? So, um, so what I would do probably more than anything else is be friendly with everybody and actually try and work on the venue change with these girls. Yeah. And the currency is not like, if, if, if the girl really likes you, the currency that you're using to venue change is um, connection and lust, basically. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's like the sexual desire and her, her connection and romanticness. Because these are not your targets, the, the currency you need to use to venue change is basically fun or like knowledge of the area, right? So you could use one of those. Either, hey, I know the more fun thing to do or these fun, play, fun people, fun places, that's one way you could go. Or the other is, you know what? You guys are tourists. You guys don't know this place. You need someone to show you around. And that way you're offering value to these ones without making it sexual so that you can still get sexual with this one. And then the objective is to get all three of them somewhere that things can happen. Okay. So whether that be like, where are you staying? Meridian. I stay in Meridian, okay. So getting them back to Meridian and like drinks by the Meridian pool would be like a good example, right? Something like that. Um, and then just in, like telegram, invite some guys out. And once that happens, there's a very good chance of things going down. But um, really, really focus on Focus on getting these ones on board, right? And make sure, again, that you're not, you want to avoid hitting on them because you want to avoid getting one of them to choose as your target. And you want to occasionally enough, like just indicate to them you like their friend. Yeah. Just keep indicating it so that they'll, it's in their minds that that's the case. Um, but that's kind of what I'd be working on. Working on the, the, the physicality with this girl, to a large extent, is a little bit wasteful. Because she's not going to be the decision maker. Does that make sense? At least for the next decision you need to make. The decision of like having sex with you, she's the decision maker for that. So the, the, next, the next decision they need to make is, let's go with this guy. Exactly. Okay. And she can't be the decision maker for that because she can't communicate with you directly. Okay. Right? So even if she is the decision maker, or even if she wants to be the decision maker, because it's coming through the intermediary, if the intermediary has a different opinion, you're going to get the intermediary's opinion, not her opinion. Right? Okay. So understand that um, she's not the most, even if she's the one you want, she's probably the least important person in the set right now. Yeah, I know, but what, I, what I, I ask you, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, I, I do computers for casinos, right? So like, you know, you, you, you work in the No, no, no. I work for a company. I actually kind of do that there because I'm just like playing with her feet and that's all I do with her. Mm -hmm. So like that was my reason to create the connection with her and keep it like that. So you can keep doing this as you're talking to the As I'm talking with the other ones, I kind of realized that they are the people that are going to be making the decision. Not exactly consciously, but I kind of knew it. Mm -hmm. So cool. later I'm working on a class for the food court. The chilling and sitting here is almost like a more connected vibe than going and having food together right now would be, right? So not that there's anything wrong with it, and getting, getting compliance is good by itself, 
but does that step really help you? Not so much. And in fact, getting them up and getting them doing something is a good way to lose the set in this case. Right? That makes, um, it's kind of complicated. You know, you know uh, basketball or football or race horses, like horses racing? You make bets, right? Like you make money for bets. I work for a company that makes technology for those bets. Right, so it's like, tell her, like gambling. Tell her, I will, tell her I want her money. Tell her I want her money. Tell her I want her money. I want her money. <laughs> Be careful about that out of context. Because understand, like, that's it's a good joke to make with her, given what you guys have been talking about. But understand, she doesn't know what you're talking about. So that's actually a pretty harsh, like, she doesn't, like, what? You want my money? Why are you attacking me? What's going on? So just, just be very cognizant that like, there's two different conversations going on. There's the actual conversation that has happened, and there's the conversation she understood and is aware of. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to play to both. Because right now, you're playing kind of to just only the one. So later on, I did a little bit more physicality there. Like I love the hands with her and just sit kind of in there, but still talk with the friends. Cool. And I think what's important here is the clothes, how I go in the clothes. You guys, you guys should come with me and my friends to Tao. Hmm? Your friends, but uh, now, but now, no, maybe no, later. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I'll, sh I'll show you my friend singing. I'll show you my friend singing. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. I'm gonna show you guys my friend singing. You really do need to find friends for the friend in this set. Yeah, okay. That was a lot. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, one way or another, you need to find that. So, there are, there are different ways to do it. One is telegram people in, or in, in real life, call your friends, that kind of stuff, or take them to a place where your friends will be at. Uh, that's one way. The other way is take them to a social environment in general, and then be able to wing them off. But again, because of the language barrier here, you really need to get them all together to a place that things could happen and then split them. So it's a very demanding sort of pull, right? I mean, it almost has to go a certain way. Um, but yeah, I would be really thinking like, what is a scenario where that can happen? Yeah. And what you need again is, you need them all to go with you together and then be able to split off. He's uh, singing in the shower. In the shower. <laughs> No, no, this is my friend singing in the shower. You know, you know shower? You sing in the shower? Yeah. By the way, that's really good. And not that like your singing is the greatest, but like the fact that you're like, it's not bad. But the, the, fact, the fact that you're doing it is really good. The fact that you're loud and unstifled while doing it is really good. That's, like, that's an honest signal of being like comfortable in the situation, of being alpha, being assertive. So any of you guys, especially you can sing well, but even if you can't, being willing to occasionally just shout out loud in the set or being willing to sing out or something like that, it's a really, really good honest, honest signal of like being alpha. Hey, I'm going, I am going I'm to have a drink. I am going to have a drink, right? Because I'm thirsty. Do you want to see? What? Do I want to in see you shower? singing in the shower? <laughs> uh, in the shower, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's a good misinterpretation. Again, be careful though, because yeah. not your target, right? But still a good misinterpretation in general. Hey, I am going to get a drink. Do you guys want to come? All right, cool. Uh, okay, are you coming to Tao? Are you guys down for Tao? Hmm? Go to me. Then you give. 
What's up? Go to the gate show in the wind. Oh my god. Okay, alright. Check this out. Actually, there we go. Facebook. If you go to David Guetta, right, you need to get there really early. Jake is perfect. I am. I, I am. The thing is, if I send her a message and say what I want, she won't understand. <laughs> but, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Okay, tell her this. Tell her this. I will send you. Check this out. This whole thing is like, it's actually a really good game and a lot of good things, but you're just, you're fighting such an intense uphill battle on this one. Um, and, and really, there's like a very narrow range of options for how this is going to go down effectively. I will send you a message. Say that. And then you will put it in Google Translate. Google Translate. By the way, um, if you, do you have data on your phone? Yeah. Do you have a data plan? If you do have data, what you can do is just do that right then and there. I've done this with the foreign girls before. You just Google Translate and say this stuff. Yeah. Um, and then they kind of, it, it's kind of right and it's kind of not right, to be fair. But it's funny and it gets the, it gets the point across. Because usually, even if, even if it's wrong, they kind of know what you meant. OK. Is that good? All right, cool. There you go. Hmm? Well, I will, I will send you a message. And you will send it, put it in Google Translate. Oh, okay. All right, so I will send her a message and she will tell you. Okay, tell her. I will send you a mess her a message and she will tell you. Sounds good? All right, cool. I'm gonna head out, okay? Come over here. You're fun, I like you. And you're the bestest. Oh yeah, sweetie. High five. Uh, Pooh. What makes that very difficult as well is, yeah, you can, you can even get a number in that context, but the follow-up's a royal pain in the ass because if she doesn't speak English, right? It's, it's a situation where almost because of the language barrier, you almost have to figure out a way to pull. How hard is it to connect with the girl if she knows you can't even speak to her? Yeah. Right, it's like, or how hard is it to like, honestly, what is special about this girl for you? It has to be appearance because there's nothing else you can even communicate. Right. It makes it really tough in, in that level as well. So the, the building comfort part is very hard. By the way, your energy is really, really good. And I like the persistence very, very much. So that those are good elements for sure. Excuse me, guys, real quick. Have you met Wilson yet? Have you, have you met? Yeah, yeah. This is Wilson. He's very shy. He's very, he's very deflated lately. He just got off a lonely island. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know. What's your name? Pleasure. Where are you from? I feel like you just got off Burning Man. I feel like you just got off Burning Man. No, I want to go to Burning Man though. Have you been to Burning Man? No, but my friend just came back like yesterday and he was like, what? he's like still covered in dust. Like he said, like all of my clothes are just like covered in dust. Oh my God, it's, imagine. yeah. Where are you guys running so far? I like totally ditched my friends yeah. for you guys. Okay, so um, actually we'll do this. What's good, what's bad in this set so far? Anyone? Energy's loud and assertive. Energy's good, loud and assertive, yeah. Cool. What is not so good? Actually, there's another thing that's good, which is that he's making statements and, and saying his own unique thing rather than asking questions. That's also good. What's maybe not so good? Yeah. Maybe a little too high energy. Yeah, yeah I would say not necessarily too high energy, too fast. Yeah. yeah. Right? I'm not sure if I caught it, but I think that like, were they walking towards him? Uh, initially, yeah. Yeah, he was able to just kind of turn around and back and go along with them. Yeah, it was a good adjustment because you, you started out trying to stop him, didn't work, you adjusted pretty quickly. Which ones? Um, just like, uh, other in particular, just like um, the overall um, tonality. Yeah. I'd say that's the, that's the speed thing. Yeah, I'd say that's a speed thing more than anything else. Um, here's a funny thing. Most of the time, if you're worried about the girl leaving and you want to keep her there, the most natural thing to do is talk faster and try and keep her there and try and be really, really into rushed and stuff like that and try and get as much out as possible so she can kind of see a sample of your personality, which makes sense. But ironically, what girls are responding to isn't so much what you're saying, but how you're saying it. 
So ironically, if you slow down, they're more likely to stay. Because if you slow down, it's conveying that you're confident and you're not nervous about it. If you slow down while asking them to stay, it's conveying that you expect them to stay, as opposed to you're just hoping they'll stay. We're, we're, you have you have the reservation, right? Okay, cool, cool. What are you guys? What are you guys eating? Um, cheesecake. Uh, cheesecake. Oh shit! You making me fucking jealous. Hey, you making me jealous with your cheesecake good, deliciousness? Okay. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, like, cheesecake factory is cool, right? It's like cool, cool. But then, like, Burning Man is like fucking. I want to perform there. You want to perform there? Hang on. What do you do? You don't do like some weird, weird pole dancing thing. So, and because you're in a rush, now you're starting to kind of question mode a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, here's the funny thing is, <clears throat> um, you want to keep doing all the same good things that you normally do when you're in a rush, right? That you don't want the rush to be the, the defining factor. And again, the ir ironic thing is good game will get you through the rush situation better than like bad game will. It's like, um, did you ever play sports growing up or anything like that? Or yeah. What sports do you play? Volleyball. Volleyball. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Kind of. Um, soccer. Do you, you played soccer, that's perfect. That's a perfect example. So say that like it's getting laid on in a game, a soccer game, and you're like down by a goal, right? The natural thing is like rush, throw everybody forward, throw everybody forward. And what happens if you do that too much is you do want to rush. You want to have urgency because you do need to like create opportunities, right? You need to create scoring chances. But if you have too much urgency, you start falling apart. You start just giving the ball away in bad places. You start um, like misconnecting with your passes. You start getting caught offside really like often, that kind of stuff. So there's like, a, there's like a threshold where if you're too much in a rush, it really hurts you. And the correct way to play is, is, is closer to just good soccer than like rushed soccer. The same thing with game, right? Yes, because you're in a rush, you need to have a little more urgency, but it's not as much as you think. Mostly you still need to just play good game and just be a little more urgent. What you're doing here is like, like, a hundred, like 90 out of 100 urgency and 10 out of 100 good game. It needs to be the other way around. It should be like you know, 90 out of 100 good game and then just add that little extra 10% urgency on top of what would normally be a good game. Because what's happening is you're, you're doing a good job of keeping their attention and you're doing a good job of like just continuing the interaction but the way that you're doing it is creating a situation where you're, you're seeming needy and try hard and it's almost inevitable if your value is getting lower and lower and lower. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah. So it, it works in the short run, but it's not gonna work in the long run. Whereas if you were to slow down and stuff, yeah, there are times where it'll be too low energy and won't keep their attention, but the times you do keep their attention, you're gonna be doing it in a high value way so that it'll get easier and easier and easier the longer you go. Because here you're keeping their attention, but you're keeping their attention in such a way that you're not really getting them to invest, so you have to keep being high energy and keep being high energy and keep being high energy. You never get to like relax. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Okay. So yeah, the, the 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 key thing is in any situation, first and foremost, do what's good game, and then secondly, adjust to the situation. Don't get so caught up in adjusting the situation that you just do bad game. You do? Yeah, Paul and Eric. Oh, okay. You go, Paul. That's awesome. Come on, Vicky. I love this. I love this. Wait. What do I do? Yeah. I walk around and talk with pretty girls uh, yeah, and then like introduce them, them to Wilson. Yeah. Yeah, them them I'm like, cool. let's go and have a date, let's have a romance at the Burning Man and Cheesecake Factory. Actually, I've never been there. I think, do you need to like have a reservation? Nah. Do you need like a reservation to go there? So I said slow down in general, in particular, and this is a really big one. Slow down the moment after she talks. So for example, if, um, <clears throat> if me and Marcus are having a conversation, let's just talk about any random thing with me, Marcus, it doesn't matter. Okay. Wait, what was that? Um, I was <laughs> oh, that's really cool, that's awesome, really? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And um, I also came to training. You know, I went to training too, that's really cool. Yeah. I, 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 love go I love going to training, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Okay, so do I seem like I'm very reactive to him or not very reactive to him? Yeah, very reactive, right? Partly I am speaking really quickly, um, and that's just kind of coming with, with the territory of what I'm doing. But the biggest thing I'm doing is I'm speaking immediately the moment he's done with something. Like the moment he's done with a sentence, I'm immediately jumping on it. Whereas I'll try to speak equally fast now, but I'm gonna just give it that little pause. Like, let's talk. Okay, so I woke up this morning and then I spoke to Oshkan on the phone. 
That's really interesting. That's, that's cool. I, I spoke to Ashkan earlier today as well. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go to an Indian buffet, but it, the plans fell through, apparently. You know, I really hate buffets sometimes because, like, you always get, like, that, like, loaded up, like, kind of fucking, you know, heavy feeling afterwards. I like to, you know, just chill on my, my yeah, stuff. Yeah, so it's probably better that we didn't go. But after that, then I just uh, took a nap and then came to training. Yeah, I could use a nap, actually. I've been, uh, I've been working really hard today, so I did it, right? So now when I just give that little bit of extra gap, I'm still talking really fast, and I'm doing that intentionally so I can match the previous one. But how much less reactive does it seem when I just leave that extra little beat in between, okay? And if I were to also slow down my speech, then it would seem way, way, way less reactive, okay? So it's not even so much the talking so fast, it's how immediately reactive are you to what they say, okay? So yeah, just give it, a, give it a pause. Realize that like, if they finish a sentence and you don't jump in, they're not going anywhere. All right, have that confidence that they'll stick around. Um, hopefully not, because we don't have one. Talk with Wilson. Pardon? Talk with Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, actually, do you mind if I swing by with you guys by Cheesecake Factory and get their cheesecake as well? I don't, I don't mean, I just met you, so I'm not sure. Um, try not to ask yes or no questions when you're closing. You'll get no a lot, especially because this is a really like, I mean, they're walking, they're almost like walking away from you. Do not yes or no close it. Instead, like assumptively close it, if anything. Like, oh, you're going to, she's, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to go to she's factory for a minute as well. I may as well, you know, I'll join you for a second, then I got to go, right? Just assume it. Because if you say, can I do it? Nope. May I? Nope. I think the reason why I asked is because they some said something earlier about the reservation or whatever. Right? About how they had a reservation? I don't know. So I said something like, do you have to have a reservation at the place where you go? Because mm -hmm. I was already thinking about just joining them. Uh -huh. And I think one of them at the front said, like, we have a reservation or something like that. Like, the girls from the front. I think that's why I asked, can I join? Right. Kind of thing. But yeah, there's another question. So even there, just assume it though. Be like, you know, I'm gonna jump on your reservation if that's okay. Cause um, look, I I am actually really hungry, but I don't want to wait around like an hour for my own. So, yeah. So just assume it instead of asking it one way or another. Do you guys need like a reservation for a number of people or something? Cheesecake uh, factory. So what's what's again? What's your name? Cat. Cat. Yeah. Like a fucking cat. Like a fucking cat. Ah. You sound like you, you sound like you're a lot of effort. Pardon? You sound like you're a lot of effort. Like you can, you know, like lack of attention, lack of interest. It's like boring days. Yeah. I would. You know, if you would be my cat, I would just like sit there and just like like throw at you like like pieces of like pizza carton box. It's like. If you would be my cat, yes. Okay, so now, um, fortunately, you got to Cheesecake Factory, so they kind of have to stop. And that makes things way better for you. So now you can be way more normal, way more natural. Um, so especially if you weren't going to slow down before, definitely slow down now. Um, the other thing I would encourage you to do, now that she's engaging with you, obviously engage with her, but very soon get to know the friends. Right, get to, because otherwise you know she's gonna just get dragged away. Because like, look at it from their perspective. Right, what does it see? Okay, guy tried to approach us, like we were walking fast, like chased us down through the mall. Right, their general impression of you is not gonna be the most positive. So as soon as you're getting any kind of positive from her, really focus on like getting them to, to be in your favor as well. Um, He'll be like, he'll be like, nah, 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 nah. sorry, I, I didn't mean to like, Steal you away from from your friends. What are we doing? Wilson, Wilson is shy now. Huh? Wilson is shy now. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind eating. He tells me that he feels like you abandoned him. Is there space here now? If we can get a table. Hi. Hi. Let's just see. Okay, real quick. Uh, what are you, what are you doing after this? Right, the friend's dispersing, now you're in big trouble. We're going to a pole show, that's why we're in a rush. Have we booked Where? for Monday? Can, no, before we go, real quick, can, can you give me two minutes before you join your, uh, join your friends? I'm not, Just a minute. sorry, we're really in a rush. Have All we, right, uh, have we booked for listen to this, what are you doing tonight? We're going to a pole show. What, what is that? A pole show. A pole show? Yeah, a pole show LA. Is that like a show or something? 
Okay. Go for it. Alright. Alright. Okay, so here what I would do uh, is force some kind of qualification on her really fast before you go for the number. Because this is, this is about to be like a really rough landing number close, right? Because she's been running away from you through the mall. Like not running away, but just like being dragged by her friends away at the very least. Mildly engaging with you. Friends are dragging her away again. So going for like a close here is kind of rough. But if you get her to jump through a hoop or get her to commit to you in some way, now the odds are going to go way, way, way up. So you're like, you're like, okay, you have two seconds, what are you doing? But like, I would actually just be explicit about it. I'd be like, hey, you know what? You seem cool, but I'm not sure about you. Tell me just like one thing that's not obvious about you. If you just get her to jump through that one little hoop of any kind, then the number makes sense. Without doing that, the number doesn't make sense. Because like, look at the narrative in her head right now. The narrative in her head is, guy approached me in the mall, I ignored him, was rude to him, he chased me down, was extremely try hard and needy, no offense to you, you didn't have a choice, but you were. Um, and then he asked me for the number. Yeah. Where's the narrative for her? But if it's, you know, oh, guy, guy you know, chased me down, was interested in me, but was still selective. And, you know, we talked and actually he liked something about me besides just the fact I was hot. Okay, now it makes sense to get the number. And it's still, granted, not the best situation. But at least you give yourself a chance. I like you, you're very pretty. And Wilson likes you too, so the brownie points in there, okay? How can we stay in touch while you're in Vegas? Um, Facebook. All right, cool. Give me your Facebook. I'm gonna shoot you a test message. I go to a nightclub tonight, so I won't be... Unless you wanna come to a nightclub, I won't be around. No, we're not. Uh, yeah, it's just like you're busy. But uh, I'm not doing probably anything on Sunday, so uh, I'll shoot you a message and see what, you, what, you, what you're doing. Hang on, this, what's my name? What's my name? What's my name? I don't know, I'm really bad at names, but you have a friend that's Get, get out of here, get out of Okay, so if I send you a message on Facebook, uh, would you be okay for a coffee and with the bounder with a cutie boy? Maybe, I don't okay. know coffee. All right, well, we'll see. All right, cool, come over here. Nice to meet you. I'll see you around. You need to be more assumptive. You're still asking the question too much. It should be assumed, okay? So instead of it being, would you be okay with coffee and, and would you banter with a cute boy? It should be like, um, I know a cute boy who, who might consider doing coffee and would you banter with you if you're, you know, if you're lucky, right? Which is like super cocky, especially given the context of this set, but you almost need to be that, all right? You should, in your behaviors, for this is for everybody, I want you to channel the guy who has never had negative feedback with a girl. I did a video, actually this is a really good video for a lot of you guys to watch. A uh, video I did probably a few months ago and I just come back from Europe. Um, and it was called The Best Natural I've Ever Met or Best Natural I've Ever Seen. Uh, yeah? It's about this guy who was, um, I met him and I can give more, more details about him here than I can online actually. Um, but he was a Dutch soccer player, right? And so obviously like Dutch soccer player, that's pretty big there, et cetera. So he, he got a lot of girls from that. Um, but the fact of the matter was he wasn't a, a more a famous enough player that girls on the street like knew who he was. He was just a guy that was like a young, hot prospect. But his life history had been ever since he was like 13 years old, he and his teammates, when they're leaving the field, there's like girls lined up to fuck them basically, right? So he had it absolutely in his psyche that girls want him for sex. And it was just totally normal, totally natural. And to the point where like he loved girls, he thought they were great, he thought they were really fun. Right? He thought, you know, he, he liked sex himself, but he just didn't take them seriously. On no level did he take them seriously, and on no level did he ever question his sex worthiness for even a second, or question the idea that girls wanted to be with him. And so everything he did was like just the most arrogant thing ever, but in like this completely non-malicious, friendly, happy way. That makes sense? Because he wasn't like trying to be arrogant to get a result. He just naturally was that arrogant because he had just never had negative responses. He had had such an, like, an abundant, overwhelming amount of positive responses from girls and so few negative responses, he just assumed that everything was a positive. Like they could say like the most harsh compliment ever and he'd be like, ha ha, you're cute. So come on, let's go, right? And it, and it wouldn't be like a line. It wouldn't be he passed a shit test. It was legitimately his frame just didn't even allow for the fact that the girl didn't like him, all right? 
I want you to be that way a little bit because you have really good technical game. You have good understanding. You know how to pass shit tests. You know how to open. You know all the little bits and pieces, but you're still asking for permission too much in your game and you're still like trying to like get her to logically agree with you too much in your game. You need to just kind of assume it, right? Like, uh, you know the Jeffy word, sco? Yep. Let's go, contracted into one word because it's such an obvious that she's coming with you. You need to have your entire game be sco game, right? Not would you like to do this with me, possibly, and then we do it game, just we're doing it, right? So just assume it and let her object if she's going to rather than asking for permission. That's gonna be absolutely huge for you. And the other thing for you is qualification, which we'll actually do a drill on um, right now. Okay, so really I want you to focus on that. Be assumptive and just assume you are the man and don't ask for permission, just beg forgiveness if you have to. And secondly, really, really work on qualifying, okay? Uh, so we're gonna do drill-wise for qualifying is, unless you have a quick question, you look like you might. Okay, cool. Um, get into partners really fast. <laughs> and what we're gonna do in the partners is I want you guys to just have a totally normal conversation. And then during this normal conversation, I'm gonna say the word now. And then when I say the word now, whoever was not talking, whoever was listening at that moment, is going to take whatever the other person was saying and either qualify them or disqualify them based on whatever was just said. Does it make sense? So if a person was just talking about like their work or whatever, they could, you could be like, you know what, I think that's fucking lame. You need to stand up to your boss and I don't know what you're thinking, All right? Or you say, oh, you know what, that's really cool that you're so industrious, da 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 Make sense? So whatever was just said, right before I said the word now, you need to find a way to qualify or disqualify on that. Because what I want you guys to have in your arsenal is the ability at any moment to be able to qualify the girl, find something cool about her, or find something lame about her. Because if you have that flexibility, you can adjust the sort of value and comfort levels on a dime at any time, okay? And it's really, really easy. Um, and ideally, it should be genuine, too. Ideally, it should be things you actually believe and think at any given moment. 